Gore-Tex products guaranteed to keep you dry. Now that's a promise. Let's meet two guys who want to put it to the test. The Promise, tested by Gordon and Ted. Episode 2, Bubble Trouble. Hey, thanks for stopping by. I'm Ted. And this good-looking, very athletic, simpleton is my lab rat, Gordon. And, th <clears throat> and this hydrophobic little nerd who pretends to be an outdoor lover and a scientist is my assistant, Ted. And together, we put Gore-Tex products to the challenge, confront some stubborn myths, and find out if the promise really stands. And today's promise is windproofness. Ah, shelter. Yes, comfort and coziness. Well, it's the reason why we build houses and why we wear clothes, to protect ourselves from the harsh elements. Yeah, but uh, comfort's an abstract concept. But it depends on something very concrete, our microclimate. And in this cabin, that would be the warmth from the fire that we're trying to keep inside. Hey, what are you doing? You're messing up our microclimate. Yeah, well, bear with me for just a second. Hold on to that. Right. So, between our clothing and our skin, there's a thin layer of air that's as delicate as it is crucial. Now, to preserve that microclimate, and with that our comfort, we need to stop the wind from blowing away our little bubble of warmth. What are you doing? A real life test, my friend. I'm gonna seal this opening with a piece of Gore-Tex fabric. Basically the exact same thing that this jacket is made out of. Catch my drift? Yes, of course. Now just close the window. Does it work? Yes, perfectly. You can take it down now. Gordon? Whoa! What happened? Why'd the wind stop blowing? <laughs> well, I turned it off. <laughs> ah, surprise, a wind machine. Too bad I missed your little unique turning off technique. Yep. Uh, I think I need to clean up out here a bit. Now this is testing. Let me introduce the bubbler. Or in French, le bubbler. C'est magnifique. Now, I put a swatch of red Gore-Tex fabric underneath this cylinder here. And in the other one, I put another fabric from another company, just for comparison's sake. Now, as you can see, there's no water penetration in either. And when I turn it on, the air gets pushed up against the fabric. Now, as we can see with the Gore-Tex red fabric here, it completely protects our microclimate because it's completely windproof. And you'll notice on the other side, there's some bubbles there. That means the air is passing through. Wait a minute. I've seen this bubbler test before done on the net, but they were using it to compare breathability, not windproofness. Does that mean that Gore-Tex fabric isn't breathable at all? No, that's a misconception of the term breathability. What we're seeing here is air permeability, the air going through the fabric. Mm -hmm. But humidity is what we want to get rid of when we're active outdoors. And Gore-Tex fabric provides full breathability without sacrificing windproofness. Wow. So, it stops the wind, it lets my sweat out, and it's waterproof at the same time, but how does that work? You know, that's a good question, and it's something we should explore in an episode on breathability. That uh, sounds good. As long as it's not full of numbers and formulas and complicated algorithms. Hey, hey, I'll keep it simple for you so it doesn't stress out your short goldfish attention span. Hey, leave my goldfish out of this. 
but that does sound like an episode I'm looking forward to. More on waterproofness and breathability in our next episodes. Thanks for watching and good night. Thanks for watching and au revoir. Gordon and Ted did it again. They tested and proved the Gore-Tex guaranteed to keep you dry promise. For over 30 years, Gore has set the standard for the perfect mix of durable waterproofness, windproofness, and breathability. Fit for use again and again.